right in front of you? We are now planning 20 years in advance. I mean, you know, you have to plan ahead. You can't just be right where you are. You've got to see that there's some momentum to your business and adapt to that. I mean, plan for it and work for it. And this kind of gives you incentive to put out the energy yourselves. But I, th I think that you plan for what are we going to do this month, January? You know, we plan that, but then we plan what we're going to do through next summer. And then it's for the next year and the next five years and the 10 years. And we're still going <laughs> up to 20. <laughs> so I don't know what you, any different? Well, in the stores, we plan usually in the spring for the summer and fall. Well, we go to the market. The gift there. shows and things. You kind of have to plan almost a year ahead of time for holidays. It's like Christmas anymore. It's very hard, but sometimes you have to go to market in January or start to talk to people about next year's Christmas. And you have to order it and get it in. A lot of people get upset if Christmas is in your store early, but you don't have a lot of choice because if you don't buy it, it you don't get you know, the newest, the, the, the most different. But I usually sit down every January and kind of write out my next year. And I learned from someone a long time ago that when I put down what I want, I really go for it, you know? <laughs> write it down, <laughs> write big. If you want to make a million dollars next year, write it down, you know? It's, you might as well, why put down, you know, 20,000 when you could put down more? Because <laughs> if you write it down, I'm a firm believer, it'll come to you. We plan all the time, and, and you do plan out for the future five, ten years with the idea that things are flexible. You can't, what we planned three years ago isn't what we're looking at now for the next, for the future, you know, because you have to, to know, you have to be aware of what is going on in your community and the eco economy, but you do plan five, ten years with flexibility. Susan? Um, we have a staff meeting once a month, give or take. And it starts at 8.30 and it ends at 10 o'clock. And that's where we make big financial decisions. Everybody is involved in understanding where the shortfalls are and what's going to be big. Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. But it's a group effort, and so everyone's invested. And it works, mm -hmm. I think. 